just for my safety, you mind if I take it off? No, I'm just asking for my safety, you mind if I detain you? I'm gonna detain you, okay? Liberals trying to take away our rights and everything like that? Merely for my safety. It's concerning when there's, you know, public park and you're walking around. I'm more of a Second Amendment guy than you are. Liberals trying to take away our rights and everything like that? I'm just exercising my constitutional rights. You do have a, 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 an ID, sir? I'm not gonna provide that. Can I just exercise my constitutional rights in peace? I'm here for a legitimate reason. During what the crime? Course of my investigation, you do have to identify yourself. Sir. Liberals trying to take away our rights and everything like that? Man, I hate cops, man. They're so annoying. I have to stop the recording. Duty, back up. So what's up guys, Hector X1991 here. I'm gonna book my fourth and fifth amendment ride. My safety, you mind if I take it off? Fourth and fifth. I know, I'm just asking for my safety. You mind if I take it off? Are you sure? What are you doing on the side of the road? Are you sure? This is 10 for the patient. So this is not cooperative. Not oh, verbal. Alright, man. So I'm going to be very okay. close to you, okay? Because if you have that gun, I'm telling you right now, it's not going to work. Alright. That's just my safety. Alright. So, is this like for YouTube or something? do for now, I'm not gonna lie, there's a lot of people back in the world, I'm gonna detain you, okay? You're not arrested, you're not in trouble, detainment is known merely for the public safety and my safety. Okay. I don't know, I don't consent to any searches of seizures. I'm not gonna be searched for now, okay? I mean, I can see you have a weapon right on you in front of me. But I'm saying for the public safety and my safety, I'm just gonna detain you for a bit until a supervisor arrives, alright? I'm letting you know what's about to happen, okay? So, just make this painless, don't resist, I'm going to put you in handcuffs, okay? You want to put your hand behind your back? Thank you. 
So like I said, you're not in trouble, you're just being detained right now. What I am going to do is, I'm just going to escort you to the back of my unit because the last thing I need is one of these guys to so drive off and hit you, okay? Can you bring my phone with me? Your phone? Yeah. Um, if you like, I could leave it on my unit. Uh, I want it with me. It's going to be uh, this side, man. Away from the roadway. So, because I'm putting you in the back of this unit, we don't allow any weapons inside, so I'm going to go ahead and take off your shotgun, okay? I'll leave this right here with you. Is this uh, tied to you by any chance? Or? Okay. It's concerning when there's you know public parks and you're walking around, so concerned callers are going to call you, man. Back his weapon. Yep. You give me back your weapon, I'm gonna give you the bullet separate, okay? Bullets, it's empty here. There's six bullets. You got them all? Sure. What's his name, Hector? What? I remember his last name. Look, they should have it. Yeah. Were you telling me it was Hector? Cool, cool. Yeah. Oh man, the first police of the day. Always record your encounters with police guys. Yeah. I'm not gonna talk to him. I'm gonna invoke my Fifth Amendment rights. So that means I'm not gonna be talking. I'm gonna invoke my fifth amendment, I'm not gonna talk to you. I don't have to answer your questions either. I don't got any questions for you, man. Believe it or not, I'm more of a second amendment guy than you are. All right? But you gotta realize something, my brother. This is what I wanna tell you. Every time I see you, I never get to stop and talk to you because it's always so busy with the traffic, man. You're a second amendment guy, right? Obviously. Doesn't take a chance. All right? This is what I wanna tell you, my brother. Don't take this the wrong way, man. But this is the truth, okay? When you do stuff like this, and I'm, trust me, I'm behind you, man. Because I fight for my Second Amendment right. I love it. And I'll die before anybody takes it away from me. You understand? I understand, man. But we also got to pick and choose. You know what I'm saying? So if you're on my side, that means you can't stay on liberals either, right? 
liberals trying to take away our rights and everything like that? Right? You have to be. You're on my side. You know what I mean? And I would be out here with you right now. But the only reason why I don't do stuff like this is because it gives the liberals what they want. What do they tell everybody? Oh, they're crazy. They're gun toting. And then they get people believing that we're crazy. We just want to shoot everybody and all this kind of bullshit like that. And then you got people that are stupid enough to believe that shit. And then they start hating everybody that likes guns. And everybody that understands the importance to have a gun. Because to me, this is not a luxury. This is a God-given right. You know what I mean? And like I said, I would die to defend that Second Amendment. Because anytime a government wants to take away your guns, you need to ask yourself one question. Why? Obviously, there's an agenda there. You know what I'm saying, brother? So you and I are on the same side. So... I want you on my team. You want me on your team. You know what I mean? But we just got to be careful and pick and choose what we do. We can't be giving the Democrat liberals what they want. This is what they want. So they can try to say we're crazy and we don't know what the hell we're doing. That we're trying to be out here scaring people and shit. When in reality, we're protecting people. You know what I mean? Because the gun is just a tool. That's what we is. It's the stupid psychos that do that crazy shit that make it look bad. You know what I mean? So you need to help me out, brother. We got to stick together for this stuff. All right? Ain't nothing wrong with what you're doing. That's your right. And I respect it. You know what I mean? Just pick and choose a little bit. Be careful. You know what I mean? Don't let anybody think. I don't want them to think us gun people are crazy. You know what I mean? Because we're not. Because in reality, we're the smart ones. Because we know the importance of our Second Amendment right. We're not some stupid Kool-Aid drinking people that are going to... Get rid of guns and all the crime is going to disappear. We all know that's bullshit, right? All right. So help me out, man. Pick and choose. I know you're safe because we talk to you every day. Be calm, cool. Don't point it at anybody, anything like that. You know what I mean? And if you need anything, you call us, okay? Because, yeah, people get nervous because of all the school shootings and stuff going on, which is understandable. You know what I mean? People trying to make us look bad. Remember, brother, you're the good guys. All right? Just pick and choose. You can do what you want. Be careful. You know. But don't go flaunting so much where people think that we have a problem. You know what I mean? We can't give them what they want. They want people to think we're crazy. We're not. We're the same ones. All right, brother? What's your name, man? Okay, that's cool. My name's AJ. Let me give you my card, man. If you ever need anything, you go by badge numbers. Put my badge number up here, bro. It's 137. Defender of the Second Amendment. Right here, that's my name, bro. That's my badge number. If you ever need anything, you call the station. If you don't ask for my name, ask for my badge number. That's what we all are. They know us by numbers. All right, brother? You be safe, okay? Good luck. Remember what I said, though, man. Don't give them what they want, okay? Think about it. So what's up guys, Hector X1791, today we're gonna be, um, you know, uh, out here in uh, San Carlos, Texas, Edinburgh, and we're gonna be exercising our second amendment. Here, let me just show you where I'm at. It's a good day to be exercising our constitutional rights. Okay. Let's go through it here. Woo! Yes, sir! Let's go! Hi! Oh man, somebody must have called them. Huh. Let me just get over here.
Everybody's just watching over there. Bet your name number. <laughs> Bet your name number. I'm just exercising my constitutional rights. I'm sorry, say again? I'm just exercising my constitutional rights. Okay. The reason I'm here is because we did get concerns uh, advising from concerned citizens advising that you're waving the, the shotgun at the passing by vehicle, sir. Is that... Uh, that's not uh, constitutional right, so that's actually considered... I'm not waving my shotgun on anybody, sir. I'm sorry, say again? I'm not waving my shotgun on anybody. Well, that's what I'm here for, so they're saying that you are. So I just want to verify as far as information as what's going on or what's, uh, what's the situation going on, sir. I mean, I'm just exercising my constitutional rights. Okay. All right. No, that's fine. Uh, just uh, as I stated, you do have... Uh, I do have a legal obligation to be here for the fact that you being the call out that, that that's what you're doing right now. So... Uh, with that being said, I mean, is there, I mean, is there anything else that I can help you out with, or is there a situation that you want to look? I mean, is there something? What's going on here, sir? I mean, I don't usually say this in my videos, but I want everybody to be exercising their constitutional rights so we can all be uh, aware of them, you know. Okay. And we're supposed to care about them, you know. Right, right. No, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Second Amendment. Yeah. yeah. I'm all for it too. Yeah, I'm clear. Uh, I go by it as well. Um, you do have a, a, a an ID, sir. I'm not gonna provide that. I'm sorry, say again? I'm not going to provide that. You're not going to provide that? Yeah. Okay. Like I said, sir, you do have a uh, uh, legal operation. I do have a legal operation to be here, so therefore you do have to identify yourself. I haven't committed a crime, sir. I'm sorry, say again? I haven't committed a crime. Sorry, what was that? I haven't committed a crime yet. You don't need to therefore, commit a crime, sir, but just the fact that I'm here for a logical reason to be here for the call for service through the county sheriff's office, then therefore you do have to identify yourself. Well, yourself. I don't have it with me. I'm sorry, sir. I don't have my ID with me. You don't have any ID with you? Mm -mm. Okay, that's fine. What about your name, date of birth, sir? I'm not going to provide that, sir. Okay. You do understand the reason that I'm asking you for, right, sir? Yes. Okay. So, therefore, you do have to legally identify yourself. I'm not going to provide my name. Sir. Sorry, say again? I'm not going to provide my name, sir. Okay, I, I can't hear you, sir. Can you speak up? I'm not going to provide my name. You're not going to provide your name? No. You do know that you have to provide your name for you, right? All right, let's say Hector Jimenez. Hector Jimenez? Yeah. Can we get over here because I'm like yeah, going, sure. yeah. Right. Uh, Trayvon, what's a good uh, uh, contact phone number for you? I don't remember, I don't. You don't remember? I don't usually carry contact with me. Okay, that's fine. What's the birth for you, sir? Um, I'm not gonna provide that. That is an identification number, sir. It is a way to identify you. But I don't know it. That. Sorry? I don't remember it. You don't remember it? Mm -hmm. You don't remember your date for No. At all. Okay. That doesn't seem like it's actually. Uh, you're telling me Can I just exercise my constitutional rights in peace? Like I said, I'm here for a, a legitimate reason. You can exercise your rights at all you want at any given point. Am I being detained? But if you like point, to. Like I stated, sir. Yes, you are detained. Oh, okay. Terror. Okay. Do what crime? So my investigation, you do have to identify yourself. Sir. What crime have I committed? You are here. What crime have I committed, you sir? are not identifying yourself to me. I said my name, Hector Jimenez. Yes, you said your name and not the date of birth, sir. That's not a full identification of a full identification wise. I can't... I don't have my ID you with me. give me a false name. And that, to me, that's not the that that's a real name. And you're not going to know your date of birth? I don't remember it. I'm I don't know it. That. I don't know it. I don't have my ID with me. How can I see it? Okay. Yeah. Well, if you're exercising the right, I mean, I'm pretty sure that you know your date of birth. Yeah, but I don't want to give it. I mean, that's personal information. <laughs> yeah, it's not personal, sir, at this point. Well, what crime am I being charged with? Or At this point, oh. you do have to identify yourself for the reason being that Hector I'm Hector Jimenez. Okay. You want me to finish so that you can yeah. understand? Yeah. Okay. So, due to the call to the, to the Alta County Sheriff's Office as a call for service from a concerned citizen, I am uh, obliged to be here. And therefore, I need to identify who you are to make sure that I, for my report purposes, and everything's okay to go and good to go. That's it. Can I get a supervisor out here? Sorry? Can I get a supervisor out here? A supervisor out here? Yeah. Supervisor, I'm going to come out here. Sir. I'm requesting one. 
I'm sorry? I'm requesting one. I can't hear you, sir. I'm requesting a supervisor. Okay. You can give a, a call. You have your cell phone with you. Yeah. So you can give him a call. I'll do that shortly. I'm sorry, say again? I'll do that shortly. Okay, that's fine. Uh, what's your date of birth, sir? 08 31st, 1999. Zero what again? 08 31st, 1999. Man, somebody must have called this guy over here. Yes, sir. This is your business court. Okay, you said you wanted to contact the supervisor. You go ahead and let them know that that's going to be with that case number. That is, have my name, batch number, and uh, the incident for this here case. Now, I'll just let you know. Where can I file a report? I'm sorry? Where can I file a report? Where can you file? Yes. Or pick up, or what do you mean? I want to file a report against you, but where can I do that? I... File a report against what? Against what? Against you. Against me? Yeah. You speak to that supervisor okay. and let them know about that right there. All right, I'll get it. Yeah, just another yeah. thing. First, uh, last thing. The lights, sir, don't be shining into any of the drivers. I'm not going to shine anything them. Anything of that nature, okay? Because if you are blinding them from the oncoming traffic, that is an offense, sir. I know that. You can cause an accident. All right. Thank you. Idiot. Man, I hate cops, man. They're so annoying.